This is the bench top bench I made for my dad for Father's Day. It's got um, what's kind of like a Moxon twin screw vise in the front. The bench design is actually taken from Jeff Miller. Uh, it was published in Fine Woodworking a few years ago, I believe. These are veneer press screws that work this twin screw vise. There's no catch to make this move up, uh, move back with them. Uh, that'll have to live with that. I don't feel like machining something that's going to make it work. I'd rather not work with metal, but. Um, it's perfectly functional as a vise. So let's see here, we can... It racks a little bit. The holes in the top are rather narrow, so they get twisted if it racks too much. But to hold this nice and tight, it's good for dovetailing. Not that he does dovetailing, but it's, it's actually a really nice height to dovetail. This might inspire me to dovetail more working at this height. Um, it'll also take nice wide boards. It's got holes here and here for bench dogs, but that's going to have to supply his own bench dog. One thing I am going to give him, because I happen to have four of them and I can't rationalize why I need four, are some hold fasts. And they, they work like the charm until you hit the cross piece here. So I have to use this hole. And now they lock in just fine. And that's something I had noticed, is that this hole and this hole hit this front stretcher. So I may have to just reduce the front stretcher a little bit. I'll bust out the router and just clean that up ever so slightly. Uh, as I look down, that's going to be true with these back holes too. But that would cause too much reduction in the stretcher back there so they can live without it. But regardless, that's locked in nice and tight. And the top the top is four layers of three quarter inch I guess, boards I got from the home center. They're all little pieces of wood finger jointed together, those pre-made boards that Lowe's and Home Depot sell. And this was an experiment I did months ago, maybe over a year ago, to experiment whether I could make a bench top out of it. And the finished product was unbelievably cupped, but cutting a 24 inch piece out of it and, pl and uh, running it through the planer to get a flat, it seems to have worked out fine, and it ends up being quite thick. It's about three inches thick, which is turning out to be great for holding the holdfasts. The front drawer of the vise are two big chunks of oak. I happen to have some big, thick, probably 12 quarter oak, um, which I'm not sure what to do with, so I took a small piece of it and made the vise out of the oak. And the legs, the legs are just timber strand, which mill up perfectly and then we're, we're just fine for the legs. Um, the legs were not quite square when I made it, but what I did was I threw a clamp on it diagonally to kind of rack it back into place, and then I clamped the hell out of it to the top before the top was attached, and the vise is attached to the top with screws, the top's attached to the legs with screws, so it can come apart and I guess be repaired, or I'm not sure why you'd want to take it apart, but those pieces do come apart, and because the top and the vise are so stiff and flat, when the base was clamped tight to it and screwed on, that takes a little bit of racking out of the legs, so and now it's sitting, sitting very flat on my table saw. It was a little wobbly before because I've got my uh, Datto throat plate in here and it's not set up right, but now that it's flat on an extension wing, it's nice and flat. So a couple clamps here, and that'll make for a very functional bench. Um, it took me three nights to build, uh, working about three or four hours a night, so not a terribly involved project. The most frustrating thing was here. These are veneer press screws from, uh, from Shopbox. And they're not supposed to put pressure against the handle here. They're supposed to have a, a piece, a nut here, that's actually embedded in the back of the vice jaw, and an end piece. And they're supposed to put pressure through the end piece. And I just took the end piece and threw it away. But when I was putting pressure on here, both handles popped off the first time I tried the vice. So, what you see there is a little metal cross pin that I had to go down to the hardware store, pick up the cross pin, and drill through here and insert the cross pins. But now with the cross pins, I think it's going to be fine. And hell, if, if he's going to clamp more into this than the cross pins can handle, well, that's going to exceed what I built. <laughs> I'll have to live with that. Um, that being said, I'm not terribly in love with these handles, and I may come up with a different clamping mechanism 
for when I build one of these for myself. Because I did make a, sec a full second set of legs when I was milling all this. Um, but I want to experiment with making the top and the vise out of timber strand or LVL. Because it's my plan to make my entire full size bench out of exclusively man made materials. Um, some point because I can, uh, and I think it'll be an interesting experiment. But I'm not 100% sure how well the man made materials are going to hold up specifically for the vise. So um, I have to do a little bit of milling to make the blocks that I can then mill the vise out of the man made materials, which is why I didn't make the top and face for mine. So, in any event, that was, those three nights of about three to five hours work each night actually included making two full bases and one top. Um, though it didn't include laminating the top. These pieces were laminated together. All I did in that time was cut it and mill it flat and put holes in it and everything. So, that's the bench top bench. Hopefully Dad likes it. Tomorrow's Father's Day, so we shall see. And uh, it's going to be quicker on my list of things to do than I would have otherwise planned. Um, it's not quite my next project to finish it, because I do need to make the parts for the top. But got the legs sitting around here, and I'm going to put them to use soon. So that's the bench top bench. Okay, now it's done. Um, I cleaned up the mistake I made, or the oversight. I'm going to call it an oversight, not a mistake. Um, as you saw before, the holdfasts used to hit the top of this stretcher. And I just pulled out the router and made a couple marks with a pencil, freehand routed these two slots, and now they fit no problem if I could find my mallet. Lock down nice and tight. So, the rubber mallet's not the best at this, but it'll pop out. So there we go. Now the bench is finished. I'm going to throw it in the trunk right now, and it'll get presented.